The LEGO Technic Volvo L120 electric wheel loader has me exceptionally excited. It reminds me a lot of the A265 front loader of 2009. Does this new one surpass its predecessor? Let's find out. It's got several cool functions such as raising and lowering of the arm, bucket dumping, as well as articulated steering. On the back, it's got two separate control knobs, one for each function. This means that, unfortunately, there is no distribution gearbox with a single knob to switch between the functions. The 2009 version had a distribution gearbox as well as motor upgradability, meaning it could be upgraded with the power functions accessory box and I greatly wish that LEGO would release something similar for Powered Up. If you're just as excited for this new front loader as I am, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Not to me, but to Racing Brick. No pressure though, no pressure. That bucket piece is brand new and looks amazing. Which one do you prefer? The old bucket or this new one? Please let me know. The brand new wheel loader has an insane amount of gears. Eurobricks user Rosh has reconstructed the entire model in stud.io based purely on the official images and as you can see, the entire system looks very complex. We're using the Ferrari Daytona differentials in this set, which link up to the three electric motors here, the steering mechanism appears to be done using Technic linkages, and even everything to drive the linear actuators looks pretty revolutionary. Speaking of the linear actuators, I wish that the normal sized actuators were used here instead of the tiny ones. The tiny ones can barely handle any pressure and slip exceptionally easily. The larger actuators definitely would have been better here. The set looks absolutely incredible on the Volvo FMX truck, they just go perfectly together. I honestly can't say for sure which set is better, the 2009 or the 2025 version. The new one has that awesome new bucket as well as an insanely complex arrangement of gears, while the old one has better linear actuators. The old one also has a distribution gearbox, which is another advantage. Given that the old one retailed for $80, which is $120 adjusted for inflation, and the new one also retails for $120, meaning they are the exact same price, so far I am personally leaning more toward the old 2009 front loader due to containing a distribution gearbox as well as larger actuators. Perhaps when I actually build the set, I will change my opinion and consider the new one to be superior, as I have to build it to truly understand the mechanisms inside. Speaking of building it, I will build and review it, and I will release my review early, well before it's released on June 1st. So stay tuned for both mine as well as Racing Brick's reviews of this set. This is your Unbrick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.